Shalom, we're here at the Rabin Square in Tel Aviv. We're here, like in many places throughout Israel and throughout the world, people are coming to buy the four species, Albata Minim, for the festival of Sukkot. We're talking about the Etrog, the Lulav, the Hadas, and the Arava. Uh, these uh, four species are brought together, held together as one during the prayers of Sukkot. We have four different species here. These four species, they represent uh, four different kinds of Jews. You have the uh, Etrog, which is, uh, has taste and flavor, and it's beautiful. That represents a Jew that has both uh, Torah learning as well. That's that's a taste as well as mitzvot, which is the uh, the, the, the scent, the, the uh, smell. And you have another one which I bought already. You have your lulu over here, which comes from the uh, palm tree, has date, so we have has flavor but no no uh, scent, which is somebody that has a lot of Torah learning but not so much good deeds. Then you have your your willows, which have neither, and you have your adasim, the, the myrtles, which are uh, have a, a nice scent. All kinds of Jews, some with Torah learning, some without Torah learning, both, neither. And we see that in Sukkot, it's very important that without all four of them, the mitzvah is not kosher. If somebody is not going to have the willows, he's Jews that have nothing, he cannot do the mitzvah. The same, same thing with uh, the Jewish people. If we don't have every single Jew together, if we're missing one Jew, we're incomplete and it's not what we need. Another important issue and idea during the festival of Sukkot, during all the mitzvot, but we see this very strongly during the festival of Sukkot, is the issue of hidu, the idea to strive to do the mitzvah the most uh, beautiful way, the best way, uh, even much more strict than the basic halachic specifications. And that, of course, is part of the idea of expressing our love to Hashem and the mitzvot, the precepts that we receive from Him. People are very are looking to do the best that they could do, the most beautiful way to do the mitzvah. What's, what's beautiful here in Tel Aviv, really around the world, is if you look in a different halachot, you'll find that most of the questionable things are not even found here. It's, everything here is mehudah. <laughs> so we're, we're now looking at times where we have so much uh, plenty and so much uh, resources from the world that you have the best of the best, and we're looking for the best of the best of the best. Here we also meet a, a representative of the Tel Aviv rabbinate who is here to help answer the halachic questions. Uh, about uh, the four species, which is kosher, which is very kosher, and which is not. This is also nice a drug for special people from Tel Aviv. If you want a good, a good, 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 good uh, drug, you want to speak something? Oh, it's a, it's a kosher, good, special good. Okay, thank you very much. The Chabad emissaries in Tel Aviv, like uh, Chabad emissaries around the world, are of course uh, working uh, working a lot uh, these days of Sukkot, the days before the Sukkot, explaining about the Chag and about the mitzvot of the Chag, and also of course during the Chag itself. We do all kinds of things in the streets where we go to find people to do the mitzvah. And uh, from my yeshiva, Chazon Aliyah, we're here in Tel Aviv, a few of the guys are going to the headquarters of the army, the Kirya it's called here in Tel Aviv, not far away. And we're going to do with all kinds of Jews over there, uh, the Kiddush for the Friday night, and they have a sukkah that they built very nice, and have an, a whole nice dinner over there, as well as the next, the next day will come, they arrange for us special entrance uh, uh, permissions to, to enter, it's, a whole, it's headquarters after all. And uh, we hope to unite this way every single Jew in Tel Aviv, in Israel, and across the whole world. From Tel Aviv, Robin Square, this is Yoni Kapinski reporting for Arutz Sheva. Chag Sameach.